Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about first aid box setup and medical drawer organization. If you check medical stores or any online store, they have standard first aid box. You might want to buy that instead of preparing one for yourself. But in fact, that kit is not enough for you because every other person need is different. So what exactly this standard kit has in it? Antiseptic, cotton, surgical tape, antibiotic and ointment. Now obviously you must have realized that many of the things that you can actually need are not there or there are few extra things which you might not use. Hence let's prepare our own first aid kit. I'm going to share with you how I have transformed my messy and non-functional medical supply drawer into very organized and functional first aid box. For me actually it's kind of a drawer. First let me show you how exactly the drawer looks right now literally messy and anything in it this also has one bulb in it funny we usually forget what medicine we have in our house and then when it's needed we end up buying new one which results in more clutter here i'm preparing kit for me and my partner so i do have some supplies but as you can see it's very big mess and have no clue what all tablets and syrups i have so let's start with step one. First step is take everything out I'm going to take everything out. I realize that I have a lot of stuff. Some of it does not belong to the drawer at all. Now that everything is out, my second step, clean this space. I'm cleaning this with some all-purpose cleaner and with a cotton wipe. To protect wooden bottom from spills, I'm going to place drawer mat. Now the third step is listing and categorization. I'm making list of health issues that we both come across in daily life like stomach, headache, fever, body pain, etc. We both mainly face muscle pain due to incorrect body posture at work. Few other common issues are like cough, cold, flu, etc. Next is to make list of medicine which are good for mention issue. I made this list after consulting our doctor because it's possible that generalized medicine may not work for everyone. I would suggest first talk to your doctor about the issues and take advice on the medicine. This way you will have a correct medicine for you and your family members. This will also avoid any side effects and allergy problem. Now that I'm ready with my list, I'm going to categorize it in four parts. Tablets, syrups and liquid, antiseptic and ointments, and fourth part is miscellaneous items. Now the fourth step is sorting. As I already have few supplies, I'm going to sort them as per category. By doing this, I got clear idea how should I arrange these stuffs. Fifth step is to check, throw and buy. I'm just going to check what all items I have and which I need to buy. While doing this, I run quick check on expiry date of everything. So that if anything is expired, I can always get a fresh drop. I just made simple list of items that I have and mention its expiry date in front of it. Red ones are either expired or not available with me right now and green ones are available with me but not expired.
Next thing is I am also going to add one extra column to write use of corresponding medicine. I brought remaining items from local pharmacist. So here are remaining items that were missing in my kit. Last and final step is to organize it properly so that anyone in the house can access it without any issue. I have this medium sized transparent box and to keep it more organized I am using this food parcel container. This way tablets and ointments can easily be separated. In few other syrups, pain relieving oil and kada is going to be in the small basket. I already made a chart of medicine usage and its expiry date in last step. To make this box more functional, I am pasting this chart on it. As I have mentioned expiry date in front of every item, I would know what all things I need to replace. By keeping everything in a dedicated place saves last minute order. I also have this electric heating bag and neck belt which I'm going to keep it at the back. This is how I have prepared my home first aid kit or emergency medical supply. I know it's a quite a lot but this is what I need in my house for emergency. You should consider every family member's health and then prepare your kit. If you have children in the house then you can educate them how to use it and of course few of the items are better kept away from them. Even if you are out of the home and somebody need anything they can easily get aid by this system. I have dedicated drawer for all my medical supplies so my partner knows where to look when he needs any medical item. I would highly suggest you must consult with your doctor before taking any medicine on your own. Let me know if you like this video and found it useful or not in comments below and thank you very much for watching we'll see you in the next video.